a recap of the slug formation process in horizontal pipelines. Liquid is denser than gas, so at low velocities, liquid settles at the bottom, gas at the top. But gas being lighter, it accelerates faster, it accelerates past the liquid, and then uh, liquid stays back, accumulates, and then blocks the oncoming gas, which is uh, giving rise to Taylor bubbles. And uh, the Taylor bubble, when it expands, you know, it tries to push the accumulated liquid as one block, and that's how a slug is formed. The gas pocket eventually it gains enough strength or momentum to push the stagnant liquid as a single unit, and uh, that unit is called plug or slug. And uh, as the liquid slug is eventually eventually moved out or pushed out of the pipeline, the gas pocket expands enormously, but very high velocities, and 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 the liquid chunk or the liquid plug is almost ejected from the pipeline, and this phenomena results in liquid slugs and gas pockets uh, one after the other uh, in succession entering the topside separator and separators are not designed to take liquid pockets and gas pockets uh, one after the other they're rather more happy to operate with a constant mixture of gas and liquid 